Mindfulness is the human ability to be completely present, aware of where we are and what we're doing, and not become too reactive or overwhelmed by what is happening around us. This practice is being practiced and is now more prevalent in our culture as people are trying to achieve a state of being. Imagine you're doing your homework and suddenly your mind takes a stroll and you start thinking of when you're married and have kids. Mindfulness takes you back to the present. It helps you to be aware of your present moment. Have you ever tried to become mindful? Did it work for you? Were you successful? Don't be discouraged if your attempts at being mindful lead to disappointment. Mindfulness is not a task. It's not homework for you to do. Anytime we attempt to achieve or do something, we go in the opposite direction of becoming mindful. Mindfulness is most times misunderstood. It's not all just about taking a deep breath. Before we get into the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button to get meditation tips and materials that can help you on this meditation journey. What is mindfulness? Mindfulness is the discipline of repeatedly gently concentrating your consciousness on the present moment. You need to focus on the sensations around you and remain in the present. You might have the misconception that mindfulness can only involve formal meditation, but it's where you're wrong. Mindfulness can be done during various tasks such as cooking, cleaning, or strolling. It'll be easy for me to tell you about every experience you've ever had because we all share the same experiences at the most basic level. Don't be shocked at my audacity, but it's the truth. We all experience thoughts, perceptions, and sensations. We share the experience of thoughts and the perception of images, sounds, smells, and tastes. Not only that, but we also experience the sensations of the body and the world around us. Because of how our minds work and because of our socialization, we have also learned to personalize our experiences. In other words, we tell ourselves things like, I'm having thoughts, I see it, I hear it, I feel it, I smell it. Misconceptions about mindfulness Yes, there are misconceptions about mindfulness that makes mindfulness misunderstood. I'm pretty sure you have some of these misconceptions running through your mind right now. 1. Mindfulness leads to an empty mind This is the most popular assumption about mindfulness, but it's a big fat lie. No matter what we believe or hear, you can't have an empty mind. It's impossible. You can try to empty your mind of every thought right now if you don't believe me. The purpose of mindfulness is not to eliminate thoughts, and we do not require this to get the advantages of mindfulness. Attempting to achieve an empty mind will only lead to frustration and you will be tempted to give up in the end. Mindfulness is the discipline of repeatedly gently concentrating your consciousness on the present moment. The main objective is to keep focused on the present. 2. Mindfulness is relaxation or a form of relaxation. When we meditate, our end goal is to be relaxed because meditation helps to reduce stress, right? But in truth, we occasionally feel comfortable during our meditation. But we also frequently feel frustrated, bored, restless, and a wide range of human emotions. This doesn't mean your meditation is ineffective, but rather it's all part of the process. Mindfulness doesn't just achieve calmness, but it provides greater long-term advantages. We may create a sense of satisfaction and acquire freedom from repetitive thought patterns by examining our experiences and letting them be as they are. This can help us break free from stress, despair, and anxiety cycles. 3. Mindfulness is a fast remedy to stress and worry. Stress comes in different forms and from different sources. That's why we're always seeking ways to relieve stress and worry, and we turn to mindfulness just to take our minds off our worries and anxiety. Unfortunately, stress is always going to be a part of our everyday lives. Mindfulness is not a fast remedy. It is a long-term strategy for dealing with stress, worry, and anxiety. Mindfulness can help us respond to stress more efficiently, feel less overwhelmed, and develop resilience when we need it the most. Over time, we may discover that it assists us in dealing with anything life throws at us without anticipating what they may be. 4. To practice mindfulness, you must sit. It is not necessary to sit on the floor to practice mindfulness. In reality, you're not required to do anything. It's your turn to practice. Meditation may be practiced in any position. Most experts advocate sitting, standing, lying down, or walking. However, we should avoid resting in bed because it typically results in sleep. The most essential thing is to establish the right combination of comfort and awareness for your body. 
If you're not sure where to begin, we recommend sitting in a chair with your feet on the floor and supporting your back with a cushion or rolled up yoga mat. 5. Mindfulness is a religious practice. Mindfulness is not a religious practice. It can be done practically anywhere and by almost anyone. It has been scientifically proven to benefit the body, health-wise, emotionally and mentally. It is also a practice that has been adopted by different religions for decades. These include Buddhism, Hinduism, Stoicism and Taoism. Secular mindfulness is founded on scientific facts. This means that you are free to follow your religion whether you believe in it or not. 6. Mindfulness is simple. Mindfulness is a work in progress. Even after years of consistently practicing mindfulness, there may still be difficult days, and they won't always come when we expect them to. Consistent practice over a long time is necessary to get the full benefits of mindfulness. This involves daily practice. It doesn't have to take hours, and it can be as little as 5 minutes and as much as 30 minutes. The more we practice, the more we find ourselves able to do more as each day passes. My advice to you is to start small. 5 minutes is enough as a beginner. If you're having difficulty with a practice, you can enroll in a class, course, or drop-in session for further instruction and assistance. 7. Mindfulness is a singular purpose. Mindfulness is a long-term strategy to manage stress and anxiety. It has a long-term aim and it's to let things flow. Having said that, we all come to mindfulness practice wanting to get some advantages. The more we practice mindfulness, the more we get better. It's a practice you have to stay dedicated and committed to. We can strive to keep things in the background rather than making them the focal point. We frequently discover that the more we strive to go somewhere, the more that location becomes for us. 8. Mindfulness is boring This misconception is caused by those pictures we see all over the internet. A woman in a yoga pose, eyes closed and hands together. This picture and all other things we've heard and read have put in us that mindfulness and meditation are boring, sitting in one position for a long time trying to empty the mind and clear thoughts. Meditation helps you to achieve mental wellness. Mindfulness practice helps us to be ourselves more freely. If your experience with mindfulness has been unsatisfactory, it is because you approached it as a chore rather than what it is. Don't practice mindfulness because it's the latest trend right now or because your mom forced you to. Do it because you genuinely want it. Mindfulness is something you should be committed to. You don't start today and give up tomorrow. Kick out everything you thought you knew about mindfulness and meditation and take out the time to learn and understand what they're about. Be ready to practice what you've learned. Being attentive is being aware of yourself and your surroundings. It is also important not to personalize what you're aware of. You can't be aware of your ideas, perceptions, and experiences without giving them any meaning. You may reduce the personalization of your experiences by focusing on them without thinking about them. Consider visiting a nation you're unfamiliar with. The only thing you can rely on is your personal experience with it. When we stop striving and simply settle into our experiences, we achieve mindfulness. Here are some examples of mindfulness that you may have encountered. You find yourself enthralled by the beauty of nature, as with a magnificent sunset. You are involved in an athletic endeavor where you don't have time to think. Not only that, but you just make the right moves. You are deeply relaxed and your mind is calm. The common theme in these examples is that you are experiencing the present moment without referring to your mind. Stated simply, mindfulness is not about doing, it's about being. 